For seven years, I was an only child. Honestly, it was a pretty nice life, watching whatever you want on TV, getting to decide what we eat for dinner, and sitting wherever you want at the dinner table. Being an only child, in some ways, seems like a perfect setup, but I was envious of my friends who had siblings. I would have playdates with one of my friends who had two sisters. Regardless of occasional arguing, we all had a lot of fun. I noticed their chemistry, the kind of chemistry that can't be broken by a single argument. Although arguing is a given, having someone to spend time with without the pressure of friend drama sounded so nice. Someone you're secure enough with that you can fight and always wake up. I could tell my parents wanted a child too, but they were having trouble. My mom did fertility treatment for five years, but it wasn't working. Between miscarriages and many pregnancy tests, it seemed like prayers were going unanswered. At the time, I had no idea how hard this was for her. All I knew was that getting a little brother or sister didn't seem like an option. But my parents weren't giving up. There was another option, an option I wasn't aware of at such a young age. Adoption. I remember knowing what adoption was, but I never understood just how complicated it can become. At the age of seven, when my parents told me we were adopting, it sounded pretty easy. First, we'd request a baby, make a picture book of our family, and done. We'd pick he or she up, and that would be it. I was really naive. Looking back, I realized it's a period of highs and lows, a roller coaster. So many things can go wrong in the process, and there are so many hurdles to get over. From cost to change of plans to immigration issues, many of these are so problematic they convince people to completely walk away from the idea. There are fears some people wouldn't even think about. The most obvious fear are finances. In the U.S., it costs on average seventy thousand dollars. Internationally, it only costs from twenty thousand to forty thousand dollars. It's much cheaper if you adopt from countries like Ukraine, Ethiopia, and China. It's cheaper in these countries because you aren't required to use an agency. Agencies can be really helpful when it comes to coordinating with the hospital or the birth parent, but also costly. They do try to lessen the cost based on family income or if you locate with the birth parent yourself. This is another issue that weighs heavily on the process. The birth parents have the power to choose a new couple, even if it seems like you're the right choice. This leads me to my next point. There are no certainties when it comes to adopting. The baby could have died. The mother could have changed her mind or chosen another family. When adopting my first brother, Bane, me not knowing at a young age was definitely best. When adopting my second brother, Davis, I was a little older, and my parents decided to cue me in. They did an excellent job of making sure I understood that something could go wrong, and if it did, we would be okay. But things do go wrong. According to the Today Show, about six to eleven percent. Of all adoptions fail between placement and finalization. This means you could be placed with a child, travel to see them, and even hold them, and something could still very possibly go wrong, such as a failed match or even complete dissolve of the adoption. Lastly, you're subjected to lots of waiting. It can take months and months and even years to finalize. About 37% of all adoptions take over a year, and this only includes placement. It can take at least two years to finalize. Then, when you're all ready, you get the call out of the blue and have to move immediately. When adopting my first brother, Bane, my dad was out of town and it was just me and my mom. She ended up having to hop a flight to Tampa, Florida, in the middle of the night, leaving me staying with friends and family for a couple of weeks until we were positive Bane was ours. After seeing my family adopt two children, I can safely say it's a very scary process. That many fear so much, it pushes them away from even considering. Adoption will always put anyone out of their comfort zone. It's like being on a boat surrounded by fog. All you want to do is see the shore, but your eyes can't quite get there. It's overwhelming. The best way to get through it is to think about the end result. Not only will you be making yourself happy, but you'll be providing a home to a child who, if you had it, probably would have had a really hard life in foster care. The next. Biggest fear many have when considering adoption is the fear that they won't love and adopt a child as much as a biological child. I've seen my parents have meetings with many couples considering adoption. At least one of these decided it wasn't for them. They thought it would be easier to love their own child than what seems like someone else's. Maybe my parents weren't afraid they wouldn't love the child as much. 
but of friends or even family not loving them as much. This problem could have occurred for me as a sister. It could have mentally affected how I thought about our relationship. In the time since Bain and Davis have both been adopted, I gained a biological sister. Even with this, blood shared or not, they are my brothers. I've even had some friends ask me if I think of Bain and Davis as my quote unquote real brothers. I get why they ask. It's only natural to be confused when you don't have a firsthand experience. I always knew in the back of my head we weren't blood related, but I never felt like they weren't part of the family, that there may be a separation or a distance in our relationship. It may seem like being young and naive would contribute, but as I've gotten older, nothing has changed. The love I've seen my parents have for them, one born in Tampa, Florida, and the other over a thousand miles away in San Antonio, Texas, is no different than the love they've always had for me. I hope after hearing this, if you're considering adoption and have any f of the fears I've mentioned, please know that your fears, while valid, will pale in comparison to the joy you feel when holding your new son, daughter, brother, or sister. Over 153 million children in the world need to be adopted, and this number is only growing. From finances to caretaking, Deciding it's just too difficult and takes too much out of you will always seem like the easiest way. My life wouldn't be the same without my brothers. I wouldn't have so many fun times. I wouldn't have so many life lessons. I wouldn't have them. I hope after hearing this, whenever adoption ever crosses your mind, and with this, money, discomfort, and possibly drama, think more about getting through it the best you can to help that one child who needs you. And soon after, you'll realize how much more you needed them. Thank you.